This is a 1972 Harley Davidson Sportster Ironhead 1000. It is a hardtail, it's a Springer front end, it's got drum brakes on both, and it's a kick only. See, this is the original uh, drum drum wheel on here, it's a 19 inch wheel. You can switch it out if you want. You can put a, uh, I believe, any kind of uh, Dyna wheel or 21 inch wheel, pretty much anything new that's Harley. And you can actually use these little guys right here, and you can put either a right side or a left side hookup for the caliper. You can put front disc brakes on this thing if you want, but for right now I just got the drum on there. Uh, it's not connected. Um, this is on there. The Springer is a 6 over DNA Springer. It's got a pretty, uh, got like a no name, you know, whatever chopper headlight on there. Um, let's see here. I think the risers are like 4 inch. And they're uh, they pull back a little bit. I got these gauges that I mounted up there. And let's see, the tank tank is an axe fat bob tank. Actually, a pretty cool looking tank, I think. And then I got a pingle valve on here. And if you know what that is, you know what that is. Uh, it's got an Excel coil and Excel ignition. It's got an SNS super cover. It's got an E series carb. Uh, the exhaust is custom made by uh, Ham Chop Cycle, uh, McHenry, Illinois. You see that sticks right out here on the side. See the foot pegs are also custom uh, Ham Chop Cycles. These are, uh, these are coyote traps, welded open. Uh, let's see here, this is the brake. Brake is the left side brake on the 72s. And this is a custom um, uh, blue collar customs uh, brake pedal right here. As you can see, this is a skinning knife. That is your, your ride, that's your rear brake, just like that. See here, the hardtail section in the wood rear, it's welded on. It's a custom made fender. Drum brake in the rear. This thing is kick only. Like I said, there's no electric starter on this thing. Uh, there's an oil bag, batteries relocated. And then here's the seat. The seat is pretty slick. This is uh, alligator skin. Anyway, this right here is a shifter. It's a quarters light beer tap. And it's adjustable. You can, uh, we didn't take anything. We actually uh, welded to this side of this. You can, if you switch out the exhaust, you could turn into a regular shifting bike again if you wanted to. Uh, I've got an oil pressure gauge on there. This is a pretty cool bike. Loud, very fast. It always starts off good. Anyway, right now this thing is uh, stone cold. Can't touch any part of this motor. Anyway, should start in like one or two ticks. Let's see what happens.
just got a new voltage regulator too. I switched it over to solid state. other things on this guy. This uh, this front end, you can switch this out to any style front end you want now. Uh, the old Sportsers, they're 7 eighths. This has been switched out to uh, 1 inch and it's got the newer style of Timken bearings here. I got these bearing cups that I welded in here, which converts it from 7 eighths to 1 inch. So it'll accept any newer style big twin front end now. So a Dyna White Glide, whatever. You can put a whole, you switch out the entire front end if you want. Or like I said, you can use a different tire and wheel on there. Put some disc brakes on the front end. Uh, other than that, it is a really cool, really classic looking old chopper. Everything about this thing is old school. Everything on this bike is custom. With the exception of like, the internals on the motor. Everything's been gone through. Right now, pretty much everything works, with the exception of the front brake. Anyway, I'm going to try to do a little video of me uh, cruising by on it in a second.